I know, that's brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, well, guys, let's get going. So I won't pop any music on. So if you want to play your own music and you're all on mute, so let's get going straight away. So all you're probably going to need is your mat. Sarah, I was like, where's your mat? And it's camouflaged into your carpet. That's why I said you're going to need your mat. I can see it now. Okay, so rock and pick and mix. When you're ready, we're going to start straight away standing up top of the mat. Big toes together to touch. Nice deep breath in, lift the shoulders to the ears. And deep breath out. Two more. Inhale, lift them up. And exhale. One more. Inhale. And exhale, holding it here, allowing the arms to rest. Either hands falling by the body or maybe shine the palms forward. Closing the eyes and just take five breaths here, allowing the body to rock forward, back, side to side. Just feel into the body right now. Notice areas where you feel strong, where you feel like you've got lots of energy. And see if you can spread that through the whole body. Take a nice deep breath in, lift the fingertips up towards the sky. Exhale, forward fold, Serena Namaskar A. Halfway lift on your inhale. Chaturanga step or jump on your exhale. Lift in the chest, inhale. Downward facing dog on your exhale. Lovely. Hold in here five breaths. Move if you want to move. So we're going to do three rounds of our Suri Namaskar A today. And I want you to focus on the flipping of the toes. See if you can roll over the toes symmetrically by bringing the hips forward, lifting the chest first and then flip back. So you end up in that down dog with as little adjustment as you can. Gazing forward, bend the knee, step or jump forward. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold on your exhale. Reach the hands high, inhale. Forward fold, straight away, exhale. Halfway, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Push the hips forward, up dog, lift the chest. Flip the toes, down dog, hips nice and high. Five breaths here. So if you've got a slippy mat, you might need to take a shorter stance. If you've got tight hamstrings, you might need to bend the legs. If you've got tight shoulders, you might need to open the hand. Lots of ways to modify your own down dog. For two. For one. Eyes to the top, step, hop, or jump the feet forward. Halfway. And fold. Arms reach up on your inhale. Fold straight away. Exhale, big, long breaths. Halfway lift, inhale. Chaturanga on your exhale. Lift the chest, pull the hips through. Downward facing dog on your exhale. Lovely. Option one, hold your down dog. Option two, five rounds of your bunny hops. Heels to belly, thigh, sorry, heels to the bum, thighs to the belly. Straight arms as you take off. Straight arms maybe if you hold. You're lifting the middle part of the fingers off the floor, gripping the fingertips into the mat. For two. Nice, really straighten the elbows if you can. For one. Downward facing dog. Look to the top, walk, step or jump forward. Halfway lift and fold. Reach the arms up to the sky, inhale. Hand to center, exhale. Chair pose, bend the knees, arms lift up. Fold on your exhale, hands to the earth. Halfway lift, inhale. Step or jump, chaturanga, exhale. Lift the chest, downward facing dog. Right leg into the sky. Step or scissor kick to your warrior one. Switching the legs. 
lift the arms on your inhale and take your vinyasa when you're ready on your exhale. Moving through at your own pace. See if you can flip the toes down, up. Left leg when you're ready. Step or scissor kick it through. Moving through the left side at your own pace with your own breath. Lovely. Making sure each pose has its moment. I know that chaturanga, we always want to just skip past that moment, go straight to the next pose. Option one, you can hold down dog or child's pose. Maybe you drop into a dolphin pose. So drop the elbows and walk the feet as close as you can to the elbows. So as if you're walking the feet forward to lift the hips above the shoulders. And then hold it there for three. Nice, for two. For one. Down dog, take it back. Gaze into the hands, step or jump forward. Halfway lift, flatten the back and then fold. Chair pose, reach the arms up. Round two on your own, float through your Serena Namaskar B. Adding in whatever postures you wanna take, whether it's little transitions, whether you linger in some of the poses a little longer. As long as you do right and left side in your warrior one, it can be as chilled or as dynamic as you want this Saturday morning. Lovely. And this is when you'll notice what the body wants, what it needs. Is it spine? Is it hamstrings that need the TLC? Does the body want to go slow? Or is it like the pace of going a little bit faster? When you eventually get to your downward facing dog, Holding it there, taking any variation you wish to take. Anything from a child's pose to maybe an inversion. So maybe the first arm balance of the class. This could be you. Wherever you are, it's five breaths. Lovely. If you want to go solid, find that dolphin or maybe a headstand. Use a wall if you need for three. Awesome, for two, for one, downward facing dog. One breath in and one breath out. Gears the top, step hop, maybe bunny hop forward, halfway lift and forward fold. Chair pose, reach the arms up, hold your chair pose and interlace the fingers, pushing the palms to the top corner of the room, biceps by the ears. One lovely long straight line from the pinky finger all the way to the tailbone. Half chair, melt the belly to the thigh, look down towards the floor. Keeping it here for three breaths, maybe you lift the heels off the floor if you want to challenge the balance. For two, for one, either fold or crow pose, five breaths. If you want to add in a headstand to your crow, go straight into it. If you're forward folding, you might catch hold of the backs of the calves and hug the belly towards the thighs. For three, for two, Sit bones nice and high, whichever pose you're in. For one. Hands down, chaturanga, step it back. Lift on your inhale. A downward facing dog on your exhale. Right leg into the sky. Step or switch it through, warrior one. Reaching the arms up to the sky. So we're gonna take eagle arms. So wrapping the left arm or right arm behind. And then, so right arm in front, left arm behind, palms together. 
Lovely. And then straighten the arms out. So straight eagle arms in this one. Palms nice and flat. And if you want to take a nice little lean back, lean the head into the arms. Lovely. Keep it there for two. For one. Warrior three, lean forward. Nice big step. Any variation with the arms. You can keep them as they are. You can extend them out. Finding lots of length in that right leg. Hold it there for three. For two. For one. Warrior two, step the back foot, shimmy the front foot forward and then sink nice and low. So any variation with your arms in warrior two today, traditional arms extended, you might wanna interlace them behind the back. Maybe you wanna go humble warrior. So three options, five breaths. Legs stay exactly the same. Watching out for that right knee buckling in. Keeping it for three. For two, for one. Right hand to the floor, treeking asana, straighten that front leg. So with the hand on the floor, you might feel like the bum has to go over to the right slightly. Keep that grip with the right fingertips on the mat. See if you can lean the head back. So it might feel like quite a long stance. It might feel like quite far to reach. If you need to take a bend in the front leg, take a bend. And open up the chest. Any variation with that top arm. Gaze up to the sky. Hold it for three. For two. For one. Twisted triangle, step the back foot in, right hand reaches up to the sky. Squaring off the hips and then open the chest up to the right. Again, any variation with that right arm if you wanna wrap it around the back. Using the fingertips on the floor to find a nice twist. You've got a good grip, but then you're not dumping all the way into the left hand. Lovely, keep it there for two. For one, extended side angle, step the back foot back again. Either right hand on the floor, maybe you take a bind. Roll in the head back, roll in the top shoulder back. And keep it there, five breaths. So it's up to you how far, how deep you go in this pose. You can have lots of energy through the arm, through the fingertips, through the head. Maybe you could be a little bit softer. Hold for two. For one. Straight to your twisted side angle. Lift the back heel, cross left elbow over right thigh. Push the palms away. Maybe you open the arms, maybe you bind. Always option to drop the back knee. And then twist here, five breaths. For three, keep lengthening the head on an inhale, twisting on your exhale for two. Beautiful, for one. Hands to the earth, three-legged down dog. Knee to any armpit or kundin yasana. So it could be right or left, your choice. Take a little flight if you're going flying splits. Wherever you are, hold for two. Hold for one. And take your vinyasa. Meeting downward facing dog. Holding your down dog is option one. Option two, walk the feet forward into a super short down dog. Lifting the left leg into the sky. 
Maybe you drop down to headstand or forearm stand with the left leg lifted. If you're going up, kick the right heel to the glute. Reach left toes up towards the ceiling. So you want to start off with a really short position. Walking the toes in as close as you can to the elbow. Five breaths here. If you're up, play with the leg variation. See if you can get a little bit of extra height between the floor and the crown of the head. Nice, lovely. For three. Straighten that leg in the sky if you can. Beautiful, Claire, nice, Emma. For two. Whee. For one. And come down, release. She's a live poppy. Back to your down dog. Taking a breath in. And a breath out. Left leg into the sky. Step or switch it through warrior one. Arms up to the sky. Cross right arm behind left. Palms come together. If you're opening up the chest. Really nice pose ready for your shoulder stands. Again, maybe you take a nice little lean back. So it's your choice. Your straight armed eagle arms. Keeping the right hip forward. For two. For one. Warrior three, your variation with the arms. One big step. You're going to notice the tightness in the left hamstring. See if you can spread the toes on the floor to get a little more balanced. Extend the arms for two. Lovely for one. Warrior two, nice and slowly step it back. Traditional variation, maybe you interlace fingers. Maybe you go to humble warrior. So three options for your warrior two position. Five breaths. Nice. If you're in that humble warrior, get the left shoulder inside the left leg. For three. For two. For one. Trikonasana, right hand to the earth, left hand up to the sky. So see if you can bring the left fingertips down, bend the knee if you need. Again, if you want to wrap that right hand around the back, see if you can find the left thigh. And notice how much the head wants to push over to the right, bring it back. Find that midline of the mat. And breathe here in stillness. Twisted triangle, step the foot in, cross the right arm over. Left arm up to the sky, big reach. And then breathe. So there's so much to say for the still poses in yoga, for the poses that will hold for five breaths. There's so many benefits, so many challenges as well. See if you can hold the eyes as well as the pose for two. For one. Left hand down, extended side angle. Maybe you take a bind. Maybe the fingertips are on the floor with that knee pushing into the arm, arm pushing back into the knee. And then just like your triangle, roll the head back. See if it feels like a back bend. Pushing in nice and strong, pinky toe, that back pinky toe edge to the floor, to the mat. For two. For one. Straight to your twisted side angle, move with the breath. So finding that twist on your exhale. And then lean the head back, take an inhale. Hold it there, five breaths, any variation. If the foot feels too far away, bring it in. As always, drop the knee. Let's 
hold it for three. Soften the shoulders for two. For one. Hand to the earth, three leg down dog. Knee to any armpit or kundinyasana, holding it for two breaths. So if you're flying, bring the elbows in. Wherever you are looking forward, hold it for one. Vinyasa it out. Move through, meeting in your downward facing dog. Same options as before, walk the feet in, short down dog. Lift right leg into the sky. Option to drop to headstand or forearm stand. Even if it's just prep, keeping the left foot on the floor or coming all the way up. Lovely. And if you want to have the hands together, the thumbs together in your forearm stand, that's totally fine. It feels a lot nicer for me personally. Yeah, taking a few more breaths. And even if you feel so solid in the pose, see if you can find a little bit of lightness. For two. Lovely for one. And then release. Downward facing dog. Breath in. And breath out. Gaze into the hand, step or jump forward. Halfway lift. And forward fold. Chair pose, reach the arms up, inhale. Hands to center on your exhale. Prasarita Padatanasana, so out to the side, wide legs. Hands on the waist, take a big inhale. And then fold through center on your exhale. This time we're going to walk our hands over to the right side. See if you can either cradle the right foot or walk both hands over off the other side of the right foot. Taking a fold over the right leg and feeling a lovely stretch all the way along the left side body. If you want, you can catch the right calf with the right arm and pull the body in. Holding it there. Nice. For two. For one. Hands through centre, halfway lift, take an inhale. Exhale over to the left side. Walk the fingertips over without moving the legs, without too much movement of the hips. And then maybe you catch left hand behind the left calf and pull it in. And gripping the fingertips of the left hand on the right hand on the floor. Feeling a lovely pull on the right side body. And release, bring the hands through center, take a halfway lift, flatten the back. And then exhale, fold. Option one is to hold your fold. Option two, headstand prep. Option three, headstand, but keep the toes two or three inches off the floor. So you're working a little bit more with your core. Even if you can find that pelvic tilt, see if you can hold the feet so they're just hovering off the mat. Widen the legs as wide as you can. Hold it there for three. Keep them hovering. If they're up for two. Yeah, straighten the legs if you can for one. Place them down on your exhale. Nice. Inhale, rise all the way up. Whoo, goddess pulls because my legs are in cramp. Toes out, heels in, arms reach up, take a big breath in. Either stay in your goddess or go to a half goddess. So belly, chest parallel to the floor, reach the arms forward. So just like that half chair, nice flat back. Try not to be tempted to drop the fingertips down, really lift them up. 
A lot of work on the shoulders. Yes, hold it there for three. For two. For one. And then rise all the way up. Cross the legs, toes in, heels out. Hands on the waist lengthen. Big inhale and then fold on your exhale. Option one, holding it here. Option two, you can drop down to forearms. Taking either a forward fold in your forearms or playing with your forearm stand. So that might mean for you lifting the heels up off the floor, rolling from heels to the balls of the feet. For you might mean a little kick up, a little press up, a little hop up. Wherever you are, it's five breaths. So if the forearms are down, keep looking in between the wrists. I'm gonna keep with the rolling from heels to ball of the feet. And notice how much the hips feel over the shoulders when you roll forward. Take two more breaths. Full one. And release, middle split, heel toe in the feet out. Drop the hands, maybe you're still on the forearms. Option to lift the chest. So it might feel a little bit more intense for you if you do lift the chest. Maybe it's less intense. Just finding your own variation of this pose. Maybe you have a little rock forward and back slightly to try and find that sweet spot. And then hold. Lovely. For three. For two. For one. And release. Wiggle the feet in slightly. Pivot to your back foot. Half split or full. Your choice. So it's 10 breaths in total. I'll let you know when we're halfway through if you want to change the variation. Maybe you know exactly where you want to go and you want to go straight into it. But wherever you are, see if you can keep the hips square, right hip pulls back and breathe. Lovely, five more breaths. If you want to mix it up, keep flexing that front foot, whichever one it is, pull the toes back towards the forehead. Three, for two, for one, and release, come up, pivot to the other leg, half split or full, straight into it, maybe you take a big breath in, and then fold on your exhale, so again, I'll let you know when we're halfway, Easing the legs into this gently. So it's a lot on the hips, a lot on the hamstrings. I'm taking five more breaths. So if you want to change the variation, and find a really good gazing point in front if you're going full split to so lift the chest up. Lovely, hold it for three, for two, for one, and release, step to the top of the mat, big toes together, halfway lift, inhale, fold on your exhale, arms reach up, take an inhale, Straight to your fold, exhale. Halfway, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Lift on your inhale. Down dog, exhale. Right leg reaches up to the sky. Pyramid pose, step the right leg through. Take a halfway lift, keeping the right leg straight. 
and then fold into your pyramid from here. So your choice, you can have hands on waist, maybe hands on floor, option to walk the fingertips to the back leg and interlace them around the back leg. So it's like you're hugging the body towards the front shin. Nice, keep it there for two. For one. Rise all the way up, lift the chest, extended big toe A, catch that left foot or the left big toes, your choice. You might want to catch outside edge of the foot if that feels nicer. Extending that left leg as much as you can and pull the left shoulder back. Lovely, push into that standing leg when you're there. Breathe for two. Full one. Out to the side, variation B. Try not to open the hips too much and then take the gaze over to the right. Your variation with the hand. Lovely, three. Two. One. Back through center. Warrior three, just for a moment, go straight into your standing splits. Option, standing splits or handstand donkey kicks. So left leg is nice and straight, right thigh comes towards the chest. So keeping the left leg straight as if you were in standing splits. Roll from wrists to tips of the fingers, take three more breaths. For two, for one, the chaturanga, step it back. Lift on your inhale, down dog on your exhale. Left leg in the sky straight away. Pyramid pull, step it through, pivot the back foot. Halfway lift and then fold, melt over that front leg. Your variation with the arms. If you can't quite catch the back leg, but you want to, maybe shorten the stance. Lovely. For two. Lengthen the spine for one. And then release, lift the chest all the way up. Extended big toe A, catch that right leg, the right foot or the big toe. Your choice, kick the heel out, straighten the left leg if you can. So finding that energy, finding that power in this pose. With control, take the foot out to the right. Keep the gaze either forward or look over that left shoulder. Hold it there for three. For two. For one. Back through center, nice and slowly through your warrior three. Down to your standing split. Handstand donkey kicks are your option too. Right leg in the sky, right toes are super pointed. And then that left leg is gonna go into a tuck jump. So bring the heel in as soon as you can. Nice, three breaths, right leg stays as straight as it would in standing split for two. Yes, nice, keep the gaze in between the thumbs. Vinyasa when you're ready. Oh, nice Emma, lovely. Me in downward facing dog. Nice, drop down to your knees. So we're gonna do a couple of arm balances before we go down onto the floor. We're gonna play with our crow pose. So you've got three options. Crow pose as is, trying to get one foot off the floor and the other. Option two, playing with your crow headstand crow. 
So as soon as you get the feet up, squeeze the fingertips and tuck the head in. So notice how close I bring my head to my hands. That's so that I'm in a really small ball to be able to kick up. If I drop my head over here, like really far forward, my bum is nowhere near my shoulders. So I've got to really, really squeeze to go up. Option three, jump in from a really small down dog into your crawl. So hopefully this will work. I've just put moisturizer on. So if you have, it might not. Look towards the hands, bend of the arms, teeny tiny hop. See if you can find that crawl from a jump. So let's give it a go. Anybody who's really sweaty or is just moisturized or has got lycra leggings, it's probably not going to work. <laughs> give it a go. Catherine's like, oh my God, I've just put moisturizer on. <laughs> yes. Super, super slow. And think, visualize that crawl. The one that you do when you do your traditional crawl. So the heels are to the bum, the big toes are together. Five breaths, yes, Claire, nice jump. Carla's like levitating off the floor. <laughs> As if she's frozen in the sky. Yes, for two, for one. And release, downward facing dog. Take a breath in and a breath out. Jump through to a seat, find your heron posture. Right leg tucks under, left leg extends. Catching the left foot and then extend the foot up to the sky. So seeing how straight you can keep the spine, roll the shoulders back. Lovely. Nice, bending into the left leg. Drop the sole of the foot to the floor. We're gonna take a twist to the left. Right arm reaches high on your inhale and then cross it over on your exhale. Those of you who can take a really deep twist, you might take that right hand and then see if you can catch the big toe edge of the left foot option to extend that left leg out if you, if you want to keep the twist keep the twist lovely for three for two And for one, vinyasa it out, adding in an arm balance at the top. If you're practicing your one-legged crawl, crawl, go straight into it before you fly back. Meeting in your down dog. When you're ready, jump in through to a seat. Heron posture opposite side, left leg tucked in. Reach the right leg up high. See if you can squeeze belly towards the thigh, reach nose, forehead towards the foot. And then release the foot down, twist into the right. Big inhale, lift the left arm up and cross it over on your exhale. Maybe you're catching the foot, the shin with that left hand, staying in the twist, or maybe you want to extend the leg slightly. Release, take a vinyasa, add in any crow variations that you wish to take. We'll meet in down dog in three, in two, in one. 
and release. Look to the hands, jump through again to a seat. Eight angle pulls, so tuck the right leg in towards the body. We'll start with our left leg lifted. Left leg lift up over the elbow, left hand down. You can hold it here if you want, cradle the leg in. Option to wrap the right ankle over the left ankle, really crossing the toes. So your choice here, you can push the floor away, lift the bum up and down. If you wanna go full eight angle, straighten the arms to get height, squeeze the legs, and then chaturanga the arms. So that's nice and slow the way I did it. But sometimes it might be nicer to do it a little quicker so you get more momentum. And if the bum is stuck on the floor, swing the arms back and then push it down, look forward. Those of you who want to add in a kundinyasana, add in your flying splits. So giving it a go for a five breaths. Maybe you go kundinyasana to vinyasa, maybe you go back to eight angle. Sticking on that left leg for now. Yes, Emma D, yes. Look down a little bit. Think chaturanga arms. So once you've got the arms nice and strong, think bend in the arms. Lovely. And when you're ready, come back down. Second side. So right side, left leg tucked in. Right leg. So you can start off with the leg as high up the arm as you can. Cross the left ankle over. Maybe you take the weight back, lift the arms up. Weight forward. Push into the hands, lift the bum. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze the legs so they stay above the elbow. And then chaturanga your arms. Any variation out, any variation back to it. Yes, Kev, nice. Lift that bottom leg, squeeze it to the arm. Taking about three more breaths. It's one of those poses that you get stuck in. It's like pretzel position. Do it one more. And then release. Take a vinyasa or go straight to your down dog. Your choice. Nice. Taking a little pedal of the leg. Right leg reaches up to the sky. One-legged pigeon, step the leg through. 10 breaths in this pulse. You can go anywhere from sleeping swan to a bind. We haven't done a lot of back bends today, but obviously if your spine is pretty flexible, you wanna take the leg or take a bind. And I'll let you know when we're halfway through again, if you want the switch variation, but anything that suits your body, this is the beauty of rockets. It's one pulse and a billion variations. One super relaxing, one super sweaty, one is not right or wrong. Five more breaths. Allowing the breath to soften slightly. For three. For two. For one. Lifting the chest up. Matsy and Drasana, swing the left leg round for a twist. Place the sole of the foot on the floor. Right arm reaches up. And then exhale, cross the right arm over. So arm or elbow. If you're taking a bind in this pose, thread it through that little hole that you just made with the left leg. And then see if you can push the sit bone down. Again, option if you want, you can extend that left leg, keeping the twist as much as you can. Look over that back left shoulder. Hold in it here for three breaths. Grow tall with the spine. For two, for one, 
And release, vinyasa it out. Maybe you add in a little headstand to unravel the legs before you shoot back. Chaturanga. Meet in downward facing dog. Same on the left side, lifting the left leg up. One legged pigeon, knee to wrist, tuck the leg under. 10 breaths in this pose, so you know exactly where you went last side. See if you can mimic it on this side. Eyes closed, eyes open, your choice. And then release, come down. Sorry, not release. Five, take a few more breaths. Sorry. Switching your variation. Yeah, take three. For two. For one. And rising up, swing the right leg around. Matsy and Drasana twist into the right left. Over on your exhale. If you haven't taken the bind already, you want to take the bind, thread the arm through that little loop of the leg, look over that back right shoulder. Lovely, and then release. Take a vinyasa and in a headstand if you want to go headstand or go straight into your downward facing dog. Amazing. So I'm going to give two options for either inversion or backbend practice before we wind down. So we've pretty much hardly touched on backbends, but if you don't fancy invert any more inversions and make sure and you want to make sure the back gets a good stretch, you could do three rounds of your camel pulls or just enjoy your juicy anahatasana, so melting heart pulls. Inversion, guys. What we're going to play with today is our scissor kicks. So whether you're in a headstand or a forearm stand, whichever leg you lift up is always straight. Switch it in the sky, land on the bent leg. So you're switching, hips go back and land. Obviously this is really slow motion, but it's any amount of lift of the legs. Headstand, handstand or forearm stand. So your choice. Or you're taking the next couple of minutes to open up the chest and get into the spine. So it might feel a little quick when you do the scissor kicks to start off with. The more comfortable you feel with the coordination of switching the legs, then see if you can start to slow it down. Maybe even you get a couple of seconds in a split position before you then switch a couple of seconds in the opposite switch position. If you feel super comfortable, maybe you don't even need to bring the legs down to the floor. Stay up in your inversion, see if you can switch the legs in the sky. Nice, Claire. Lovely, Catherine, good switch. Taking about one more minute to play. If you want to start to hold the pauses, hold. Maybe take count your breath, two, three or four. Lovely. For five. For four, last little push of energy. Nice, lifting the head up super high if you're in that shoulder stand. 
There's three, let the body melt if you're in that Anahatasana or a child pulls to two. Come all the way down, child pulls for one. Let the arms rest, let the head rest, holding it for five breaths. Enjoying that stillness. Extending the arms out, downward facing dog. Gaze towards the hands, jump the feet through all the way to a seat and then lie down onto your back. Bend it into the legs, soles the feet on the floor, right leg lifts up to the sky, single leg hamstring stretch. Maybe you extend the left leg, maybe you go leg behind the head. But wherever you are, it's five breaths. And this pose can be as passive or as active as you want. You're still gonna get a really deep stretch, even with the left leg bent, not a lot of weight on the right leg. Just enjoy your pose for three. Nice, for two. For one. Make it into a recline twist, knee over to the left. Open up the right arm, gaze over the right shoulder. And then release it through center. Left leg into the sky, same on the opposite side. Extending the left leg by kicking the left heel, dropping the left toes. Maybe you're going leg behind the head. Mimic your last side. Again, make it into a recline twist, knees over to the right, gaze over to the left. And then bringing it back through center, 10 breaths to take any final movements the body needs. It could be a happy baby, a shoulder stand, an inversion of choice, anything that the body needs. Gradually slowing the breath. Gradually relaxing the body. Take five more breaths. And then slowly making your way into a Shavasana. Just as you are, maybe you wanna go legs up the wall or recline butterfly, finding your own variation. Get comfy, get warm. Maybe this is the last or the only few minutes of quiet that you'll have for the rest of the day. So if so, then definitely take the time to get comfy and enjoy this pose. Taking a big breath in. 
And a big sigh out. Using the sign just to meditate on your practice. Meditate on the thoughts you had during your practice, how the body felt, how it feels now. What do we learn about ourselves? Slowly starting to deepen the breath. Wiggle fingers, wiggle toes, wrists and ankles. Over the next five breaths, slowly making your way out of your pose, taking any twists, wiggles, stretches that the body might need. And make your way up to a seated position. Cross-legged or kneeling, hands on heart or hands on the legs, whatever feels comfortable for you. Taking any benefit that you've had from your practice today and keeping it with you for the rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for your energy, your love, your support. Namaste.